I'm John. This is the Basic Agent Channel on YouTube. The Basic Agent Channel focuses on the basic interest items of insurance agents. You'll find something here of use or an item of success that you may have used in your past. You must concentrate on attracting new clients if you want to expand your insurance business. However, since change is challenging, many consumers are reluctant to change insurance providers. You should therefore pay attention to a few of the insurance agent's closing techniques. So let's kick this around a little more on this episode of The Basic Agent. Since each client is unique, you must choose the best technique to aid in closing the transaction. You may improve your conversion rate if you have a template that you can easily modify to suit the circumstances of each unique prospect. What are some of the closing techniques you should absolutely remember? Always identify the issue first. You are marketing a fix for a problem as an insurance salesperson. Remember, in other words, we call that the pain. You've got to fix the pain. There is no need for a solution if there is no issue to be resolved. As a result, you must first identify the problem. Some of the most frequent issues that potential clients and customers want to include are they must figure out a strategy to reduce the cost of their present insurance coverage. Or they need to obtain another policy as soon as possible because another insurance provider recently dropped them. Make sure you comprehend the issue before you start offering solutions. By doing so, you can adjust your answers to the prospect's command. Now we're outlining several, so here is the second. Relay a story fast. You will have an easier job keeping the prospect's interest if you can keep the situation seeming genuine. Keep in mind that there is always an insurance policy to address a potential issue. They cannot imagine needing to make a claim because their car or house is not currently damaged. Tell them a tale that will help them better understand the problem. Describe a time when you had insurance coverage that helped a client who had an issue with their house or their car or even a loved one. This is a terrific technique to help the prospect feel as though they were in the circumstance. Of course, you should not use any names specifically. Number three, enjoy, employ a program for lead nurturing. So enjoy it and employ it. You have to use a lead nurturing program because you may not get them today that's my saying. You may not get them today, but oh boy, we're going to get you. So you cannot devote all of your attention to one client since it is so precious. A lead nurturing program should be used to assist you in identifying where you should focus your attention. Limit the number of options that you consider is number four. You should give a potential customer the impression that they are in charge. Although you do not want to give them too many options because that will just blow up their brain, you should always let the prospect make the final decision regarding which insurance coverage is best for their needs. If not, you risk overwhelming them. Number five, pay attention to quality, not cost. I'll tell you what, I tell agents all day long at Apex Insurance Group, do not drive for the cheapest deal. You will spend countless amount of hours finding the ultimate best cost and you will still lose the client. Give them a fair deal, provide a good product and they'll be happy. You see, no one desires to stand, spend more money than it is absolutely necessary. As a result, throughout the process, keep the client's needs and wants in mind rather than the cost. Price will not be an issue if someone is receiving good value for their insurance policy. Always explain to the potential customer why you think they need that policy. Keep in mind that you are marketing a safety measure, so keep that in mind. 
Number six, pose the appropriate queries. The appropriate questions must be asked to persuade your prospect that they require insurance coverage. Even though they are likely to have a lot of questions for you, here are some inquiries that you might want to make. If you do not have auto insurance, how are you going to be able to legally drive your automobile? How are you going to cover a hefty repair expense if one arises following an accident? What happens if you are in an accident and you do not receive enough money to replace your car? How will you reach work or school? Now that's assuming that you're a PNC agent and life insurance or health agents still have the same challenges and they need to ask those questions. Be aware that these inquiries will emphasize the causes of your prospect's requirements for robust insurance. The transaction will then finish itself. I'm director here at Apex Insurance Group. If there is something that you would like to talk about further, you can contact me there. Apex Insurance Group is a marketing organization offering over 85 carriers, 250 plus products, and multiple specialties. I thank you for viewing this video. I hope that there was information that gave you something to think about. We welcome your ideas and tips which have helped you throughout your insurance career. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button. Do not forget to subscribe to the Basic Agent channel and also clicking the chime will notify you of my new post on Saturday. Meanwhile, I encourage you to be memorable. This I do.